Hey Mr. Repsion fans, my name is Brittany and today I'm making a video for Mr. Repsion's channel while he's on vacation. Thank you Mr. Repsion for the opportunity and I wanted to make it about this video I saw the other day posted on Women's Rights Facebook page, which is a really great Facebook page. You guys should really check it out. Um, lots of great content on there. And they were talking about an Australian documentary called Man Up and they're talking about how we should encourage men to cry more and show their emotions and that the high male suicide rates are equated to this toxic masculinity that forces men to man up instead of to show emotions. So that is basically the thesis of this video and that whole series and I just wanted to bond to this really cringy, ridiculous video. It takes balls to cry. It does not take balls to cry. This poor kid, like look at this kid's face. Why are they doing this to him? I feel like so bad on the inside. I like want to grab, give this kid a hug and tell him to just get away from these crazy radical feminists because they are humiliating you in public for the sake of their own agenda. Please run for the hills, kid. What, like, where's this guy's like phone number or like contact information? Like, I I want to help him. <laughs> this is so sad. Before we can talk, we cry. It's how we survive. Yeah, it's how we communicate before we learn how to speak and communicate as adults. <laughs> I literally am gonna die. I need an ambulance. I can't believe. Fuck that. If you feel down, speak up. It's not a very adult-like thing to do to let all your emotions take control of you and then turn into this like emotional, like shriveling wreck. It's not cool, it's not cute, it's not strong. It's fine to cry. It's fine to let it out, but it's another thing to just not have control of your emotions and just to break down at any minute for any little thing that's going on in your life. It's a sign of weakness. Because silence can kill. Oh man. I like actually feel really bad for these men. This is just really sad. They are being used as pawns to fit this feminist agenda. They're basically being humiliated in this video. This is like really cringy and sad. It is about masculinity. We teach boys and men to repress their emotion, to man up. Okay, here we go. They're actually talking about a real issue here, the high male suicide rates. But their conclusion to make men show their emotions and cry more, basically act like women is just so ridiculous. How is making men cry more going to help with the male suicide rate? We shouldn't be trying to make people into victims like we already do. People are victims enough. We need to be showing people to take responsibility for their life and their actions. And maybe being nicer to men, caring more about men and their issues because men are obviously struggling. Men have their issues, women have issues as well, but women's issues are always focused on society all the time, constantly, 24 seven. I'm like sick of it. I'm sick of being pandered to. I am sick of it. So. It's not bad to actually talk about men's issues and especially mental health and both genders. I think we should be talking about mental health because it is a serious issue and I know a lot of people that are depressed, struggling, just having a rough time and this victim mentality, this victim mindset is really, really making it even worse. So they are trying to actively make it worse. I don't think they're trying to make it worse. But that is what they are doing by shoving this victim mentality in people's faces. We need to show people that they can be happier if they take responsibility for their lives. I know it takes a lot of courage to actually think about what is wrong in your life and to go in your past and dig up these deep, dark places to find what's wrong and find a solution. It takes a lot of courage, but ultimately that is going to lead you to the most happiness. That and taking responsibility 100% for your life. I have been there, I have been in, a ver in very depressing situations, but once I realized that I was in control of my life, my life changed like that. And I will never go back. 
So I really hate this victim mindset that is perpetuated everywhere in the media. So this really actually does bother me because this is not going to help the male suicide rates. Let's start appreciating men for all the stuff they do instead of just saying, oh, white men, screw white men, screw men. They're all just sexist scumbags, screw them and their toxic masculinity. It's guts to show pain. It takes a man to feel. It takes balls to cry. Ugh. Oh my god, that video is so cringy. It does not take balls to cry. It doesn't take anything to cry. It's so easy to let your emotions take control of you and to let them lead your life. But to take a step back and to think with logic and reason and to figure out solutions to your problems, it takes an even bigger person. It takes an adult to do that. Doesn't mean you can't break down and cry, but ultimately taking responsibility is the best thing to do. I feel like this whole video is like kind of sadistic. Feminists are like, Hey, hey, let's show a bunch of men crying to promote our agenda that masculinity is toxic and play all this like happy, like inspirational music on top of it. It's just disgusting. I think that women are trying, they're trying to actively see men cry and they think this is like funny and like reversing the gender roles, but it's not funny. I think we need to stop talking down to men. Men are not these horrible, disgusting, sexist pigs all misogynists, all racists. Like, I'm so tired of the demonization of men constantly. I don't think it's a coincidence that women are getting unhappier and male suicide rate is going up and the rise of feminism. Anyways, I'm not done, not done. Shut the fuck up, patriarchy. We do not hate you, fuck face. Mr. Entitled, Mr. Ego. I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't. Man hating is super popular, super trendy. I just think it's hilarious that these women will talk shit about men all day and then put all these expectations on the guy that they're looking for. We need to realize there are actually a lot of expectations on men nowadays. <laughs> women nowadays act disgusting and terrible to men, but at the same time, they want a guy with six pack abs who's wealthy good looking and who treats her like a queen. This is toxic. And then women are just going around hating men. The other day I got blocked on Twitter from this chick who was saying like, I hate men, I hate men. Or like, men are shit, men are shit, men are shit. And I just responded, men are amazing, men are amazing, men are amazing. And she blocked me. She blocked me for saying men are amazing. That's so triggering that she had to hide behind a block button. I think in general, being a man nowadays, it's a thankless job. Men don't get the gratitude and appreciation from the women in their lives. I feel like a lot of the time, after I made my video, Why I'm Not a Feminist, I got a lot of men actually thanking me, really thanking me for that video. And I was really shocked. There are men struggling, there are men hurting from the legal system, the biased legal system, that are having their kids taken away. There are men struggling from these high expectations in society and all this just like down talk to men constantly. So yeah, these feminists can go around treating men like garbage, expecting and then expecting the perfect man and then they don't expect a backlash. What do you think is going to happen? Years and years and years of this. Basically, yeah, that's my video. I don't think we should be making men cry more. We should be trying to figure out solutions and why men are so unhappy and stop just constantly ragging on men for being men. Let's stop saying masculinity is toxic and have a great day.